I've been curious for a while how certain bullets would perform at longer range so I decided to do some of my own testing and before doing my testing I reached out to multiple bullet manufacturers um, in regards to I was curious if 10% ballistics gel or 20% would be better for my testing it came strongly recommended to me by the industry experts to use 10% well, six gelatin as 20% will not give you accurate results. So I mixed some 10% ballistics gelatin up to the FBI standards. Um, it was also recommended to me not to use bone and hide as it would typically has a minimal effect on the bullet and is not necessary for the testing. So to save myself some time and the fact I don't have any green hides. I decided to go off the advice of the bullet manufacturers and not use bone and hide. The two bullets I've started with here uh, are two bullets that I shoot out of my 6.5 Creedmoor. One is the 143 grain ELDX, the other is the 142 grain Acubon Long Range. Um, as I do these kind of comparisons, I'm going to be really comparing like bullets at first. Um, I may do some more videos in the future comparing different calibers and like bullets so that people can appease their curiosity like I wanted to but couldn't find the videos on. So I started with these doing reduced loads and my La Hornady 143 grain ELDX with the reduced load is traveling an average of 1,316 feet per second with an extreme spread of 30 feet per second. Um, with the actual muzzle velocities I shoot that out out of my Creedmoor, that would be placing this bullet on impact at 1,475 yards. With the uh, Acubon long range, I used the same powder charge but did get higher velocities. I averaged 1,453 feet per second with an almost 50 feet per second in my extreme spread. So a little bit higher extreme spread. But with the actual muzzle velocities I'm getting with that in my 6.5 Creedmoor, would place that uh, shot at 1,675 yards. So I'm going to go over a little bit what this is doing uh, in the ballistics gelatin at these velocities. I am definitely more than pleased with the results. Um, I will start left right here on the left is the Hornady ELDX and where it starts to let me move my camera a little bit here so I'm not standing in the way of everything from the time it enters and I fired two shots of each into the gelatin um, I didn't want to shoot more than that because I did not want the uh, different wound channels to uh, impede each other too much but I wanted more than one to show consistent results and they are ex starting expansion at uh, one of them was at the four and a half inch mark the other one at the five inch mark um, started expanding very aggressively um, both of these bullets did veer in the gel uh, and exit shortly after going into the second block but from the five and a half inch mark up into the point they exited the block both of them really close to the 18 inch mark that wound channel carries consistently all the way through um, at its most aggressive point you're running at two and a half to three inches of permanent wound cavity it maintains that two inch permanent wound cavity until they exit the block um, very very pleased with the results of those bullets so then from the other side coming left to right we have the Acubon long range those started their expansion at about the five inch mark so very consistent with the uh, ELDX as well. 
they got a little more aggressive quicker. Um, by the six inch mark, you have an almost two inch wound cavity. At its max, you're just shy of a four inch permanent wound cavity. And from that six inch mark to the eight almost 19 inch mark you have good permanent wound cavity and let me look here you're gonna come about to that 16 inch mark as the permanent wound cavity starts getting smaller down to just under two inches my first shot into the gel if you track it comes through beautiful wound channel sheds a pretty heavy pedal right there comes up and exits the top of my block. My second one, almost identical wound channel coming through and pushing that 18 inches mark is where it starts shrinking down and then you just see the bullet coming and stopping over here. Let me make for sure that that's in the camera shot. And the leading edge of that bullet is almost exactly 26 inches i would have to say um although this test shows that these bullets shot out of a 6.5 creedmoor would effectively drop game out to 1600 plus yards um, i personally believe that's uh, highly unethical and definitely not fair game chase so i cannot in any way recommend people taking um, those long range shots. I personally try to encourage people to become a better hunter instead of a better shooter. Um, our, the whole hunting industry has taken the shift towards let's become a good shooter so we don't have to be a good hunter. Um, I personally disagree with that, but if, if you are a good shot and can place the ethical shot, here are two bullets um, out of a Creedmoor that are definitely going to get you the energy, the penetration, and the wound channel you need far beyond any ethical hunting yardages. Um, I personally am very pleased with these results. Uh, just wanted to do some of this stuff mostly to appease my own curiosity but thought I would uh, go ahead and make a video so that I can share some of my results as when I was trying to appease my curiosity I couldn't find information like this online you have some people that are trying to shoot blocks at you know 600 to a thousand yards um, they do get some actual uh, bullets into that gel at those ranges to where you can see some of the information um, most of those that I have found are not using the industry experts uh, standards of 10% ballistics gelatin so I really wanted to make my own video so I could get more accurate results and I'm just sharing them with you guys hope you enjoy I may do some more videos in the future may not don't know yet but I definitely enjoy doing this test and look forward to doing some more.